How awesome would it be if we could see how each of our accounts in Salesforce was using our product and identify how they were performing using the necessary parameters? Well, today in the short demo, I'm gonna show you just how to do that with Census without having to mess around with CSV files or asking for help from your engineering or data team. So in front of us here, I've got a Salesforce instance with several accounts that we've sold to. And within these accounts, we have parameters that measure how they are performing as our client. Parameters such as total active users, images added, canvases created. But as you notice here, it's actually empty. So I'm gonna populate these fields using census. To achieve this, we need to do three things. First, we're gonna plug census into our data warehouse, and we support all the major data warehouses. In this particular one, we're gonna look at Snowflake. Then we're gonna to connect to Salesforce, Finally, we're gonna choose which objects we wanna sync and map the fields between them. Let's get going. First, I'm gonna connect our data warehouse. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be using Snowflake. Once you filled out your credentials, hit connect. And wait for your connection to be tested. Once your connection is successfully tested, click finish. And then add the destination. In this case, it's gonna be Salesforce and hit connect. In this case, I'm already logged into Salesforce, so it's gonna connect automatically. But if you're not, you're gonna be prompted to enter your Salesforce credentials. And as you can see here, it's testing the connection and we're good to go and hit finish. The final step is to create a model where you're gonna decide which data that you're gonna use and sync between the two, sort, two destination and sources. Go ahead and click add model. And in this case, I'm going to write a very simple query that returns every lead within our organization. And you can hit, hit preview here. And once you've created a satisfactory model, then go ahead and create it. And feel free to make this as arbitrarily complex as you need, or alternatively, consult with your data team. I'm gonna finalize this by giving it the name practice and hit save model. Model is actually synonymous with a query. So once you've chosen that, go ahead and head over to syncs and hit add sync. So uh, we're gonna be choosing Snowflake with the practice model as our source. And of course the destination is going to be Salesforce. And these are the different behaviors that we could use. In this example, we're gonna use update or create, but feel free to use whichever one your organizational need is for. The next part is going to be how the source and destination records are matched. If you're familiar with SQL, this is very similar to a SQL join, where you're using two tables and you're finding the columns between them to match. We're gonna be using org ID and company ID. And then once we're here, this is where we're gonna choose which fields are mapped between the two tables. Org domain, domain I know, is a common field in the Snowflake table, similar to org name. And I'm gonna add the other ones right here. I know that total active users is going to be mapped from num users, and images added is going to be mapped from num projects. And we're also gonna be setting a constant field just to show you an additional functionality of census. And so we're gonna click use a constant value. And once we're done with that, hit next. Once you're ready to go, hit create sync. While it's running, I'm gonna show you how you can change the schedule at which the sync runs. Hit the arrow and then hit this edit sign. And as you can see, we have manual, weekly, daily, all the way up to continuous. And so choose whichever one your organization desires and click update. And once the sync is done, you can see that 22 records have been updated. And if we go back to our Salesforce instance and we click on one of the accounts, we can see that these measures have been updated. Total active users and images added, as well as this constant phone number that we've added. And the best part about this is you don't have to ask engineering for anything and you can keep tweaking this yourself. For example, I missed adding the number of canvases created. So I can go back to my sync and hit configuration and then hit edit and then add mapping and click update. And even better, I can now build a report so that I can monitor all the accounts that our team is looking at and at a glance understand which ones are at risk so that we can prevent churn before it's too late. And there you go. This is the, one of the many use cases you can build with census once you have product data in Salesforce. You can do scoring or routing or alerting or anything like that. We would love to hear what you would do with this kind of data. So please send us a note and we'll see you in the next one.